Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival Exploration Mode. Hopefully today our <laughs> recording software doesn't decide to record blackness for five minutes. Anyhow, so I asked you guys what we should put on our list. Two of the things that we're going to be putting on our to-do list are going to be... So the text panel, we are going to... This is not in any particular order. We're going to find that ship that's causing lag. So the one we're going to cause or find the ship that's causing the lag, which means it's going to be every going to be around 40,000 kilometer or 40,000 meters away from us. So it's probably going to be directly behind our asteroid too. We're going to try to find that ship. Also, we are going to make our base whoops. We're going to make our base self-sustaining with solar power. So self-sustaining with solar power. There we go. So those are two things that we're going to add to our list of things to do and I guess you guys uh, decided that that is going to be our to-do list because there's really no other point to it right now as there's nothing that actually scrolls across the screen and if there was that would be pretty cool because that means we could make signs that say this is such and such a base and it would just scroll across the screen but that's not the case alright so we want to make this self-sustaining with solar power so where's the sun okay so that means we're probably going to want to put our solar panels off in this particular direction We'll probably put one large main spar going this way with uh, branching solar panels going off of it. I'm not sure if we want to invest in rotors because it really doesn't make that big of a difference. I mean, it looks cool, but just for the time being, I don't think we are going to put rotors on it. We might make another solar farm that does have rotors eventually, but we don't have enough material to be wasting at the time, so we're not going to do that. And speaking of solar panels, let's get producing them to see how many we can actually make. We have platinum in here, so let's throw that in there and have it be refined. And it's still refining all sorts of stuff. And speaking of which, let's put this stuff in our assemblers. Because we're going to need the silicon for our assemblers. We're going to need the gold. Put that there. Oh, it looks like our assembler is actually full. So what? It, there's actually probably too much cobalt in here. We don't need that much cobalt. We'll move uh, 4,000 cobalt out. And we'll move some platinum in. Do we have any iron? We're actually pretty low on iron. We'll take this iron, move it in here. What, do we have any other iron? Nope, that looks to be it. So that's the one thing that we need right now. I suppose I used most of our iron for building the launch pad, or the landing pad, and the rest of the base. Magnesium, we'll throw that in there. There's not much in that. And we'll keep the rest in our refinery for now. We'll throw it in the same one. For easy storage. We'll throw this magnesium in there because it's not much. Also, we'll throw the gold in there. Or silver. That was silver. I think that was AG. Alright. Now I'll go to production. Large blocks. Solar panels. We're probably going to want at least six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we're going to be fine, so we'll make eight of them. That should be good. And right now we're going to go take all of our solar steel plates that we have, if we have any actually. I'm not sure if we do. Oh, and we do. I'm going to take all of our steel plates and start making the framework for our solar farm. Alright. Probably just going to put it off in this direction. Put it right in the center. Here we go. How far do we want it to go? So, 
how large are these solar panels? I believe they're three across. Or two across. Okay, so they're two across, which means with eight of them, we're going to have two sets of four. We're going to want some space separating them. So it's going to be one, two, empty, one, two, empty. So it's going to be three times four. We're going to need at least 12 blocks at the minimum. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go to 15 blocks out. One, two, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. We're also going to, let's see here. I know that should be fine. And we're going to throw some steel plates into these 15 light armor blocks. We're not going to completely finish them because we kind of like the way they look. They almost look like space station trussing that might actually hold up some solar panels. There we go. Almost done. Perfect. We do have some steel plates left, so I might want to throw some steel plates into these. Actually, I don't think these require steel plates, do they? No, they don't. Well, I guess we'll put the steel plates back. doesn't require any that doesn't require any okay well we'll put the steel plates back we'll grab what has been made in our assembler and start making the solar panels I imagine we have enough to fill up our inventory by now where is the assembler here it is wait radio communication components doesn't seem like we'd need that well, we'll grab everything but the radio communication components because I don't think that was made when we were making our solar panels. And how many of those solar panels are required to make? Okay, quite a few by the looks of it. One solar cell, 64. So that's making a whole bunch extra by the looks of it. Whatever, we'll take what we have. And let's start building these guys. In fact, I'm going to do this in a montage sequence so I don't have to continuously do this because it's going to, we're going to need to do this at least eight times. So I think we'll cue the montage sequence, you guys, when we're done.
All right, and we're done. So here we are. We have eight solar panels. They're not getting too much sun, but they're getting enough. We're going to turn off our nuclear reactor, and we're going to see how much power they're actually generating. Also, as you saw, when I was waiting for those parts to be assembled, I got bored, and I finished making our supports down to the base of the asteroid here. So now our base is fully supported inside of the asteroid, so we don't have to worry about it floating off, even though it technically wouldn't because it stations don't move but yeah makes it more immersive I guess alright so let's go inside of our station and turn off our reactor and see if we have enough power to keep this thing operational my guess is we'll definitely have enough for the gravity generator probably enough for the beacon I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough for the assemblers and stuff but we will take a look. So we're going to look for the reactor. I'm going to toggle you off. And right now we actually don't have any control panel, and control panel or anything. So we don't know how much power it's actually creating. So that might be of importance. In fact, let's go to all blocks. I really do want to make a control station. However, I don't want to put it in this particular room. In fact, well, for now, I think we can put it in the room, but once we have the proper location for it, we're probably going to move it. We'll put it in this nice little window area for now, but we will definitely be moving it later. So let's go back to our Voyager ship, and we're going to make all the parts necessary for one control seat. So control panel, production, large blocks, where'd that control seat go? Probably up near the top, there it is, control station. Alright, that'll be finished in a little bit. So, what else can we do while we're waiting for that? We could probably finish making some of those windows there. I think we have the, uh, the glass necessary to do that. Yep, well we have some bulletproof glass, not a lot. Is that all that we have? I thought we had more glass in another container. And we do not, so well, we'll finish that also. We'll take all the interior tur or the interior plates that we have, and we will throw them in some of those interior uh, wall blocks over there. Okay, so that, that did almost nothing. Oh, we need construction components, but we'll throw all of the interior wall plates into here. Make it so that uh, when we're actually building this, whenever we get around to it, we don't have to ferry all the parts back and forth. I really should increase the range of that gravity generator, but as soon as we know how much power this is actually generating, then we'll be able to increase the gravity field without worrying about running out of power. Okay, well... Almost done. I'm sure the parts in the assembler are almost finished. I think we're actually gonna go back now. Alright, well, we used up all those interior plates, so we might as well go back and see if they are finished. I'm assuming they are. You know what, I just realized these are lights. Huh. Congratulations, you are a winner. <laughs> all right, let's grab all this stuff and let's build that inside of our space base alpha. Turn off our jetpack. Let's take the flight seat. We'll plop it down right there. There's a mining carriage off in the distance. Those things aren't too hard to take. Alright, so we are currently using 47% of our power without even using the assemblers and reactors and stuff. Ooh, that guy's moving pretty quick. Alright, um, well, we're producing 325 kilowatts right now. That's not so bad. We can certainly increase the gravity generator range. There we go. Field width depth and height 
Definitely width and height. And depth, too. I'll just increase everything. Let's see. How much power is it drawing? It's probably drawing more power now. Yeah, 90-something percent of the power, but that's fine. Also, our beacon is still lit, which is nice. Despite the fact we're drawing this much power, and... Okay, well... <laughs> the gravity goes out further, but it doesn't go out quite enough. So we'll probably have to add more solar panels later, but... As of now, that will do the trick. Okay, so while we're making this a building episode, I might as well just finish this uh, platform area. So I guess what we're going to need most of is just lots and lots and lots of construction components. Because I think we have enough interior plate to finish that. We have some construction components with us, but let's go to production. Let's make a bunch more. Probably that much more would be fine. We have a whole bunch of small steel tubes. That's not going to be an issue. We also need bulletproof glass. So let's go to assembler 3. Also, we're going to have to switch our silicon to assembler 3. We'll move most of it over here. And we're going to make all of our glass in here. So we'll move 10,000 in here. So production, assembler three, make lots and lots of glass for us. Awesome. Okay, well, I guess you could say cue the other montage sequence. Hopefully we're going <clears> to <throat> be able to finish this, this episode. So see you guys when we're done.
All right, there we go. Well, that took entirely too long. I think that's the last time I'm making stuff out of those interior walls. They take too many resources to build. But eh, at least it looks nice. Nice tile-like floor. Anyhow, so as you see, I started to also block out the next level. So the roof is going to be here for this particular floor, and then the next floor is going to start here, and then there's going to be a top floor. It's going to kind of look like a control tower where we're going to have all of our defensive turret control stations as well as our remote control control stations located there. We're also going to need to put some remote control blocks on this and all sorts of other stuff, but that's for a later date. And let's see here. I think, well, let's just walk around this for a little bit and show you inside the tunnel, seeing as we made that. We might as well show it to you. Open here. We probably could put some lights in here, despite the fact that it's pretty bright in here from all of the nice windows. Nice view. Certainly a nice view. And then it goes into here. And this is the extent of our base so far, at least the enclosed extent of our base, but it's getting bigger as we speak. So I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you folks for watching. Make sure to keep on leaving your comments in the comment section below. I always read them. Thank you folks for watching. That'll be it. See you folks next time.